Welcome back to the series where we turn video game characters into my singing monsters and then putting them in a song together on Virtual Valley. You guys can't get enough of these videos and I have lots of fun making them. So if you enjoy this video leave a like and comment down below what characters you want to see next, here we go. The first character we will be starting off with is the Roblox. Yes. When people think of Roblox, the first thing that usually comes to their head is the classic yellow, blue, and green colored character known as the noob. This character is meant to represent a new player, which is why it is so bland, so I'm going to have to be a bit creative with this design. So since Roblox sounds very similar to the word robot, I had the idea to make this monster into a robot. It was pretty simple transforming this character into a robot considering it's already blocky design. I also liked the idea of a tiny monster that's inside of the robot controlling it, but we don't know what it looks like. Here is Noobbot 3000, Noobbot for short. Here is the bio. The Noobbot 3000 itself is not a living being, but instead a scientific creation of another monster species that is unknown as of now. The Noobbot's abilities are relatively unknown, but the engineering skills that the creator of this bot has is truly impressive. The rare and epic versions can be based on other popular Roblox avatars like Builder Man or the Guest Avatar. Here is its sound. Next is Pea Shooter from Plants vs Zombies. Some may say the sunflower is the most iconic plant in PvZ, but I actually disagree. I feel like Pea Shooter is definitely the most recognizable one, even non-PVZ fans recognize this guy. And whenever I think of PVZ, my head immediately goes to Pea Shooter. Anyways, I wanted this design to incorporate both the original design of Pea Shooter and the more edgy design from Garden Warfare. I remember when Garden Warfare first came out, it was so hyped to see a mobile game get a console shooter game, I hope one day they make another Garden Warfare game, or at least a new mainline PVZ game, it deserves a comeback. Anyways here is P-Tector, pretty basic design but I like it. Here is the bio. The P-Tector, as the name implies, is a great protector of the monster world. Although one of them may not be very powerful, a large infantry of these monsters is unstoppable. Rumor has it that the P-Tector isn't very fond of undead monsters, so good thing they aren't on Bone Island. The rare and epic variants can be based on Snow Pea or other Peas Hooter variants from the PvZ games. Here is its sound, it plays by vibrating its big nose. Next is Mega Man. Mega Man drops January 7th! I honestly think the Mega Man games are some of the most difficult games ever. I don't think I ever completely a Mega Man game, I always just ended up giving up. But to be fair I haven't played a Mega Man game since I was like 10. I was never as into Mega Man as I was with Mario and Sonic, but I did still like it and played a few of the games. I always really liked Mega Man's design and would frequently use him in Smash Bros. Here is Mega Mon, it plays its sound by shooting its Mega Busters and beeping its robotic suit. Here is Mega Mon's bio. The Mega Mon is a robotic monster that uses solar energy to power its mechanical suit and shoot beams of light from its Mega Busters on its arms. The rare and epic versions can be based on Proto Man or other characters from the Mega Man series. Here is Mega Mon's sound. Next monster will be based on a character that I got suggested a lot surprisingly. Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. 
I remember playing this game when it first came out in chapter 1. After that I haven't really been keeping up with anything new from it, I heard there was a new game but I haven't checked it out. I kinda lost interest in the whole thing but it's definitely a cool and unique idea for a game and brings back a lot of memories from 2017. What a great era for horror games. I wanted this monster to play using its teeth like a xylophone, similar to how old school cartoon characters teeth would turn into keys when getting hurt or something. Here is Bend Ink. The Bend Ink is a mysterious monster that forms from built up ink and oil deep inside of the monster world. It plays a eerie sound with its key like teeth. The rare and epic versions can be based on Boris or other characters from the Bendy and the Ink Machine series. Here is Bend Ink's sound. Now it's time to put these bad boys on Virtual Valley and hear the full song. But before we do, I just want to say that it'll be doing something special at 200,000 subscribers, so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't, it's free and it helps out a lot. Anyways, let's listen to the song. Thanks for watching this video. These videos take forever to edit, so a like would be appreciated, if you want to see more of these, comment down below which characters we should do next. You've been watching MSM content, and I'll see you in the next video. Finally, another video done. I can finally relax. Uh. No!